Today I will explain you what the layer masks are and how to use them in Photoshop. So let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. What are the layer masks? It's basically an undestructive way to erase or hide something in Photoshop. So let's jump into Photoshop to show you one quick example. Let's, for example, use this image and we want to erase this part of the image. First thing that we want to do is to grab eraser tool here and just quickly erase something, for example, this part of the image. That's perfectly okay, but that's a destructive way to do that. Let me show you the real world example. Let me grab this layer from the screen, okay, like so, and we now have this image in real world. All right, and if we want to erase this like we did in Photoshop, it's the same like we use the scissors here and just cut that part of the image. And as you can see, we now don't have this part anymore we lose information about those pixels here. It's a destructive way to use eraser tool in Photoshop. All right, let's go into Photoshop again. All right, let's undo this. And now I'll show you how to do the same thing undestructively with layer masks. Okay, let's load the mask here. It's this little icon. And now the mask is completely white. The white color means that the mask is completely transparent. You can see through that mask. If you want to hide something, you will need to use the black color. The black color is for hiding. The white color is for revealing part of the layer. All right, let's use the brush tool here and use black color. And with the black brush, let's make it a little bit bigger. Just paint over the layer here. As you can see, we have all information about this layer here still intact, but we only cover this, this part of the layer by using a mask. And anytime in retouching process, we can change our mind and go here, use a white brush and just paint back everything or some part of the image that we want to have it back. As you can see, it's really undestructive and really, really good way to erase or hide something in Photoshop. All right, let me show you another example here. Uh, let's use this image. It's the part of the photo story called Berlin Mystery. Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson solving one mystery in Berlin. You can see the whole photo story on my website. And now I will show you how to extract a model from a background using layer mask. All right, let's first zoom this guy here, Dr. Watson. I don't know why it's he drinking here. And actually this is me. And let's use quick selection tool here and quickly select myself. Drinking this water here. It's not alcohol. All right. And let me quickly select the umbrella here. This part of fingers and arm. Okay. And this part of the body like so. We're almost done. Let me quickly refine this and let's select this too, like so. All right, now we, when we have selection active, just go here and press the mask option. As you can see, now we basically remove, hide everything else except our selection here. And it's perfect way to extract somebody from the background undestructibly because now we can refine something here. For example, let's use a brush, white brush and refine the selection here. As you can see here, the hat is not so good and let's bring something back here. And then with the X, we can swap the color as you can see, X, X, X and use a brush, black brush, black color and just quickly refine this edge of the hat. I will now quickly do that. It's not so precise, but for this example, it's okay. Right, like so. And let's refine this part here a little bit and maybe this part, this part, etc., etc. And if you want to reveal something back, like this part here, just use a white brush and play with that. And that's really, really good way to, to extract, extract someone from a background undestructively because anytime in a photo process you can refine your selection, add something or remove something out of the selection. Otherwise, if you use just the razor tool or 
just erase your selection uh, or anything else except selection it will be permanent and you cannot you cannot reveal that you cannot bring it back later if you need it all right let me see this quickly now it's it's okay we can use black brush here and just quickly refine this part of the trousers here or of the pants and let's leave that like so it's it's okay for now we can always see a whole image by clicking uh, holding shift and click on the mask as you can see reveal and hide reveal and hide everything that mask covers all right there is another example that i want to show you here by using a text let's use a text tool here and just type for example crime scene okay and let's do like so and use white color all right and let's move this crime scene text somewhere here like so all right and if we want to put this crime scene text behind the model and if we use erase tool and we need first to rasterize this type and use erase tool and just erase the parts that we don't want to be here in the scene like like so okay just quickly to show you and that's okay but if we move this crime scene you can see the text it's completely destroyed we don't want that let's undo a few more times the other way to do the same thing but undestructibly it's of course to use layer masks because today it's all about the layer masks all right let me show you how to do that let's grab this mask here that we already created and just move it to this layer here and drop all right and now this text it's masked by this selection of dr watson here let's invert the selection go on the mask here press ctrl command i and invert the selection as you can see now the text it's perfectly behind this model here because we already selected him but if we move the text now we have the same situation like before the text is completely destroyed we cannot move it we can only position it here where it was at the first time but as you can see here there is a little chain icon here and if we unlink that then the mask and the text layer will be unlinked and we can select only the text layer and move it and the mask will stay on the same place but the text we can move we can transform it make it bigger or smaller and it will be always behind the model and that's really really good way to use the layer mask undestructibly and to position the text behind the model you can always refine this mask for example if you want the text to be behind the Sherlock Holmes here let's go on his layer use quick selection tool and just quickly select the part of Sherlock here for example like so only this part it's enough go on a mask use a black brush and just paint with the black brush on that part here let's deselect and let me show you now if i now move text whoops not mask the text it's always behind him or it can go through him here like arr, arr, the text is killing me all right and if we maybe in some time of photo retouching want to change that and we say all right i don't want the text to be behind the sherlock i want to be in front of sherlock by behind the dr watson here it's pretty easy go to the mask and just with a white brush paint this back and it's perfect now you can again move the text and that's it all right guys you just saw how you can use the text layer here in combination with the mask to do something very fun and creative let me show you one more thing all right, let's make another layer below this one. If you want to make the layer below the current layer, just press and hold Control or Command key and click here on the new layer. All right, and let's now fill it with the foreground color, with the black, by pressing and holding Alt or Option key and backspace, like so. In the previous example, I show you how you can move the text, but, but not moving the layer mask and create some fun, fun effect but sometimes you need the text to be in the same position and then you can move the mask just go here to the mask and 
take care that this link option is not active. Just click it here be, be, uh, between the layer and the mask. Just click it and make it active or inactive, like so. And now you can move the mask and make really interesting effect. You can even transform the mask, make it bigger or smaller. Control Command T and just transform the mask. Let's make it a little bit smaller, like so. And now you can make again really, really fun effect with moving the mask only. You can always make it bigger like so maybe, or put it somewhere else, like here, I don't know. And that's it. Okay, I hope that you understand what the layer masks are and how to use them in Photoshop. Let me repeat one more time. The layer masks are undestructive way to erase or hide something in Photoshop. You can always bring it back. The keyword here is undestructive. There are a lot of other applications uh, to use the layer masks. For example, you can combine them with adjustment layers and hide or reveal some parts of adjustment layers effect. Just need to practice, have fun and be creative with that. Okay, guys, we are finished for today. If you have any questions regarding to this episode, please leave the comment below. I will be glad to answer them. If you have some suggestion for a future episode or have some other questions, please, you can tweet me here. Send me a direct message. I will put a link in the description too. And if you find this episode useful, please like it, share it, subscribe it, and see you next week in the next episode. Bye-bye.